All right, guys, what's going on? Steve Minglico here with Final Web Design. And today I'm going to be highlighting a marketing sales call, which I just closed. Uh, that's worth about $1,500 every month and it's locked in for the next three months. The thing is with our marketing campaigns, we never lose a customer. We get them their return right away. So take a listen to this uh, marketing call and it'll help you hopefully if you with your next sales call. And uh, let's get into it. Final Web Design, this is Steve. Hey, Raisa, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. How are you? Excellent, thank you. You're okay. So, yeah, let's, uh, I guess, touch base on the marketing information. Yes. yes, so let me just pull up your email really quickly. I did see your results um, to that individual. I thought that was pretty good. Um, so that person is doing... Um, pay per click, Instagram, and Facebook. Oh, and Twitter as well, right? Correct. Okay. I don't have a Twitter account. Um, can we do like TikTok? Well, we can do TikTok, and actually, the majority of content that we put out these days is video related because it's just okay. much more engaging. Um, okay. Even things like um, reels with the Instagram. Uh, however, yeah. we can do TikTok in, in placement of of uh, Twitter if that's an outlet that you prefer to use. Yes, um, I mean, I listen. Um, I spend more time trying to figure things out, and that's why I took it's. I'm driving myself crazy for no reason. It's just really what I'm doing. Um, but I need I need help with the marketing. I like yesterday I spent like three hours on Canva trying trying to do my own design, trying and post it on Instagram and boost it and research everything. So I need help. Um, do you have other examples of, of another maybe like two more examples of, of what you guys have done for other people? I do. Um, I can definitely send you. The reason I sent that one is it's basically kind of in your same time frame as far as okay. like things just kind of getting going. Getting going. Uh, okay. But yes, I do have uh, at least maybe like um, maybe like something someone that does something similar to myself. Maybe not artificial grass, but maybe like something similar in the construction world. Yeah, I can uh, I can definitely get some information together and send it your way. I don't again I'm not sure about your exact market, but we can find something similar, I'm sure. Okay. I have a question for you. Do yeah. you think I should become a little more niche when it comes to my website? I mean, in what regards? Like to be honest with you, all I'm pushing right now is artificial grass. Because that to me is the easiest. It takes five ingredients, I'm in and I'm out. Um, I kind of wanted to list the other services just because everyone's always asking me. Like if I go do an estimate for artificial grass, I'm like, oh, I want a pergola or oh, I want to remodel my pool. But it really and truly what I really want to focus my ads on is artificial grass so like the pavers and outdoor tile patio decks you know yeah that's Other things that i would like pavers i will definitely offer um and decks but the outdoor kitchens and pergolas i okay i've been looking at a lot of my competitors websites right right the artificial grass competitors and they're solely just focused on artificial grass so I kind of want to do the same. And now if a customer asks me, hey, do you do pergolas? I could just say yes, rather. My concern is, is my website like maybe steering in the wrong customers? Is really like, that's why I'm asking if I should narrow it down to artificial grass as a niche. Well, it definitely doesn't highlight artificial grass as your main, you know, um, product i guess it does seem yeah. to kind of highlight the whole like remodeling process outside yeah 
that's what I thought. Maybe uh, I could reword the about us and maybe under services I could just maybe put artificial grass and more. Artificial grass and IV pavers. Well, yeah, I mean, there's definitely that aspect. I don't know if it's necessarily hurting you, though, to have all that, except for the fact that, obviously, you know, people are getting a lot more information than just what you're you're primarily yeah. trying to sell. Yeah, because, like, for example, I'll give you, I right now have local service ads, right, on, and people are calling me for landscaping. And I don't do landscaping. Right. And I'm not even, the thing is that local service ads also doesn't have something that narrows that down either. Yes. I mean, it's, it's a little tricky at this stage though, unless you start to remove a lot of information. Yeah, like the other services, just remove them. I mean, <laughs> that's an option, however. I mean, pavers, I do. Um, it comes together, it goes hand in hand with artificial grass. So people usually want the turf and the and the stepping stones. And, um, and the wood deck also comes to play. But I don't want every, like I just... It's not, like, from the research that I've been doing, it just seems that I need to be a little more niche. Well, I mean, at least with the marketing, I don't know about the website at this stage because it's, it, it's not really hurting anything to have that information. I think, though, okay. if you did go forward with the marketing to just focus more on the, the artificial grass okay. out product. Okay. And especially okay, with, like, fine. the the Google ads and things like that. I mean, just com completely just target that so that you just have that entire market in the, the local area. Okay. Okay. So you don't think I should change the subheading or anything like that? For which page specifically? For like where the services? I guess I don't see the problem with it. I just think again when you when you if you go forward with any type of like marketing, you just focus on that, that product of of everything. Okay, no, I'm definitely I'm interested. If you can send me more examples, I'm definitely interested in moving forward. Um, I mean, I've I've already built a rapport with you guys, and and you're you're very responsive, and we've already built you know a good relationship. Um, I just and then there's like a three month. Um, so in three months, I should definitely see a, a huge improvement when it comes to my marketing, right? Yeah, well, the thing about Google Ads is you should almost see it immediately. Once we get that all set up and oper and like moving, those type of things go pretty quick. Uh, the like I have, right now I have pay-per-click, right? I just, it just activated um, Google Ads, if I hear this. Um, I have an active ad and it became active on the 12th, right? I've had 26 impressions and only three clicks. Do you know what queries were used to for the clicks? So the queries I used um, were artificial grass, artificial grass installation. Is that what you mean? Like the, the keywords? Right. Which keywords were actually clicked though? artificial grass artificial grass okay yeah. and did any of those turn into any type of like call or no. contact form no no okay well i mean it sounds like you know that's a start do you know what the average cost per click was um so for three clicks i've been billed 15 dollars so like five dollars that's kind of high yeah it's kind of high. I mean, we're on average of like around a dollar. I mean, every market is different, but um, but yeah, that seemed a little bit high. Okay. I mean, listen, if you could Facebook ads, I think that would be huge for me. Right. Also, it's, maybe the locations that I'm using, I'm, I'm being very sparse on my location on the ads just because I targeted really high end zip codes. Okay. So maybe I should just do like maybe I should just focus on 
Miami or Fort Lauderdale rather than just the goats? That's probably actually a better solution because even if you're targeting those those zip codes, I mean, like, which neighborhoods? Are you talking, like, South or, like, Miami Beach or, like... Um, talking about, like, high-end West Coral Palm Coral Gables. Oh, Palm Beach. Coral Gables, yeah. Um, like, I did Pine Crest, Coral Gables, Miami Beach, Miami Shores, Las Olas, Lauderdale by the Sea, Rent, um, what is it called? Um, Horse Country... Um, over there in Fort Lauderdale Ranch, I forgot what it's called. Um, and all like Boca high end zip codes, like all along the water, so at West Palm Beach as well. Okay, so I kind of like I kind of like hand picked it. I was gonna say because I'm doing a search downtown and I don't see any of your ads showing. I see easygrass.net, homeadvisor.com, angie.com, turf artificial. So I mean, I, I get downtown's probably not the the market you're you're targeting, but at no, the I same mean, time, downtown is fine because I do. I mean, today I just did a balcony. Um, I saw so that. I do balconies. But, right. so I put. I put. Um. You know what? I kind of wanted to just not think about it. You will play around with it, and you will kind of see what works and doesn't work. Right? That's you. That's the. That's yes, here at the end of the day, right? and that's why we need the three months is because it takes a, it takes time to get the data in and we actually do it on conversions, not clicks. A conversion is basically a call or a lead, but exactly. it takes it takes a, t- a little bit of time. It's, it's almost like artificial intelligence that Google uses to pull okay. this data together and it takes time okay. to gather it all. So yeah, we would probably just target the whole tri-county area because... You know, it's going to bring the cost down, and at the end of the day, the, that business is like people are still looking for that service in those areas, and you're only going to yeah. get it if they're converting. So it's not like exactly, you're, exactly. Listen, I'm going to trust you guys. I, I, I'm trying to wear too many hats. Here it's a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of work, and it takes up a lot of time. And um, what are the next steps to moving forward? Do I pay you the first month or how does how do i go about that well honestly we like to get all three of the months up front i don't know what kind of you know if that's financially doable for you or how you feel about that but usually on our end it's a, it's much more secure because again the first month six weeks is a is just a ton of work on our end getting everything organized yeah. set up getting all the the branding stuff that i sent you getting all the contents uh created and we basically will will get it all created and then just setting up all the ads and then the a b test which is basically one runs and another runs and then you see which one converts better and then you do the other one so i mean ideally we we prefer to get it up front otherwise in the past we have charged just like a month of setup fee but because you do do a managed hosting with us and we built your website and stuff it is a little bit of a different scenario situation yeah. yeah three months for me right now to let go of three months is very difficult for me yeah um, i think that would be like what 3600 I, I, yeah, like 3, I don't mind giving you the first month and then i mean listen i mean i i understand you guys are running a business too so if you could come up um and, and I, can do. Oh, I was just going to say one more thing is a lot of those funds don't even go to us either. You know, a lot of those are going to Facebook. A lot of those are going to Google. No, I totally get it. So that, that means if I, if I go ahead and give you this money, I do not have to worry about marketing for three months. In other words. Exactly. And I really think, at least in our experiences, is that, you know, you're going to get your return from this because... Once you start getting sales and leads and, you know, new business, it really pays for itself when it's done right, when it's done right. If it's, if you're just kind of going in blind, then it's very hard to, to get your return. But when we know what we're doing and we've been doing this for a while, um, it's not, it's, it's supposed to get you your return. That's the goal of it all. 
Okay, okay. Would, would I, how about we do this? Can I give you two months? Yeah, we can work on the two months, and then basically we just would bill at the end of the, the second month going into the third for the last and final okay. months. But we need to send some type of just like agreement that just says we're going to do a three month package with you because. Okay, that's Well, that's the whole goal, and honestly, in the in the campaigns we've run, very very seldom has it ever stopped. Because again, when it's set up correctly, it's made to to drive sales. I mean, that's the whole purpose. Yeah, yeah that's, I mean, I'm not looking at a three month. You know, it's just letting go of three months right now is very really difficult for me. But I mean, ideally, I would love to just give you the three months and not even think about it anymore. Um. But yeah, show me, um, send me some more examples and then can I make a split payment? Can I pay some of it cash and another like in a credit card? Uh, yeah, if, if you wanted to pay cash. However, I mean, I would basically just send the, the digital invoice again. So it would oh, be and like... I could, and yeah, and I could choose and I could choose all of the payments. Okay. It would be okay, like a bank good. transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you don't have a credit card option? It has a credit card or debit card, whatever's. Okay. okay, so I could choose the amount on one and then whatever, then I'll pay with a credit card because I'd rather just put it on a credit card than let go of all my cash. C correct. So that that would be the same as how you kind of actually paid for the website. Um, yeah. Same okay. system. And yeah, I mean, the, the goal is here to, to again, get you your return. And we monitor it very, like, the first couple months, like, I'll be following up. Hey, did you get this lead? Did you see this one came in? Like, you yeah. know, just making sure that on the business end, somebody's addressing the, the contacts. Because otherwise, if you don't follow up with them, then it's, it's all no, for I nothing. Know. No, and, and it's all for nothing. That I do know. Okay. That I do know. Send me the estimate. Yep, let me pull it up also. Okay. Okay. So it sounds like you got Google Search Console integrated. Yeah, I don't know. But you did that, right? Yes. Okay. But that was the information you sent this morning was from Google Search Console. Yeah, because I got an email from them. So do you have access to that? Because you should I be able know. to see no. which <laughs> I, I, I just started playing around with a whole bunch of things and I don't even know what I did yeah it takes a little time to get it all understood but that's what we're here for okay so uh, you tell me when you have it open I have it open okay awesome so social media marketing it includes the artwork and the visuals does that artwork how do you guys create the artwork? Do you guys create it on Canva? Because I kind of I could send you my brands, my branded um, colors and stuff like that. Just how well you guys have that information, right? We have a lot of that just from building the site. Okay, perfect. Um, page optimized content. Okay, social media marketing. Twitter. So we could do, instead of Twitter, we can do TikTok, right? Correct. And the reason that we can do that is, again, because we're going to create, like, for Instagram, a lot of Reels. And for Facebook, for reels. reels is, like, their video, short videos. Yeah, that's, that's the thing right now. Exactly. I actually have a Reel that did 11,000 views. Wow. Yeah. On, on the current it's on a, social? It, it's on a, yeah, it's about, it's about the song. But sometimes, like... I don't know. Sometimes I pick hot songs and they just don't do as well. I'm looking at the. Uh, yeah, I see one with fourteen thousand hits. Yeah. One with. Like yesterday, I did one for did one with Beyonce's song, and I don't even two thirty seven. Um. But it just I don't know I don't know what it is that I did on that specific one that got fourteen thousand. Okay, and this. Same day virtual appointments. Okay, so you made this video? Yeah, I made them. I uh, made them. And on Canva? Yep. Okay, well that's nice. It looks like you got a lot of good hashtags and stuff also. Who made the... Oh, okay, this is a nice one too. I make everything on my website. 
I mean, on my Instagram, everything is made by me. My my ad, my artificial turf ad, I created. Um, everything, everything on there is me. Okay, well, that's definitely a nice start. Um, I don't see anything going on with the Facebook. No, so Facebook, I had to create, I, and I, as a matter of fact, I think I have to change it on the website. I had to create a new Facebook because my Facebook is banned from marketing. The Creative Grounds, the Outdoor Living Company? Yeah, that one's under, so that's a page I opened under my my personal name. Ah, uh, right? no, yeah, you got to do it under a business. Yeah, so I created a new one, Creative Grounds, like, uh, with a creative, I'll give you all the username um, and password information and all that stuff. That's specifically for Creative Grounds, and I'm not banned from that yet. <laughs> I right. haven't even, I even opened it at my friend's house, so with her computer, so that Facebook doesn't even smell me. Because right. I'm trying to open other accounts here at my house and it just, it bans me. Right, because you're not doing it through the business, you're doing it through a personal. Yeah. That's kind of a red flag and they're not gonna let you advertise, but we'll, we can clean all that up if you go forward and just- Okay, perfect. Create perfect. the business account, but I do see reviews. So, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I was just looking at the page, but I, I'll have to take a deeper look. And then I see. Okay. okay so that's that. Um, have you created any type of TikTok account yet, or does that need to be created? I, have, I didn't do it for. It's under my name, but I could create one. I, I don't post anything on TikTok because I don't know how to use it. Right. And for me to just go in there and start learning TikTok. I mean, I know how to do the reels because now the reels have like a template. Right. So you find a song and then it has a template and you just kind of like load up whatever um, images you have. Right. Um, okay, so correct, correct. Now, honestly, Instagram Reels, I, have, I mean, yeah, you're getting some good good impressions with that. So yeah. it's a good start. Yeah. It's just, it's too bad you're not distributing it on, on the other outlets. Yeah, because I just, I don't have time. Yeah, I know, it is. it is. I don't have time. And it starts over, like, every day, that's the... <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, so that's why the investment is worth it. Um, okay, so we did that, you... So I kind of want all my content to kind of keep going with, like, the style that I have on my Instagram. Like, the, the whole ad. And I could, sh I could send you some of my ads. And if you want some of my videos, too, that I think at the job site, I don't know if you want to use my video or you want to use... Well, we're going to use a combination, but I'm going to send a link that would follow up. And like whenever you have a new project or you have new stuff, you need to upload the, the, the documents to this Google Drive link so that we can then doctor them up for the social outlets and the, the media posts. Okay, will you be posting them also on my Google Business page? Uh, yeah, we can on the Google My Business? We can post them on your Google My Business, but I don't think video is going. You're gonna that needs to be done with um, okay, gotcha, photos. Gotcha, that's, that's fine. That's but fine, that's fine. but um, okay. the the thing about the uh, the the video now is that everybody is is much more engaged with video than photos. That's why we've almost completely yeah. stopped even doing photo posts. Yeah. Okay, let me just go through this really quickly, update my Google needed, social media Twitter, graphic design, we're going to talk about that, Google AdWords, good job, that is going to self explanatory, SEO, search engine on page. Okay, where it says SEO on page SEO. Correct. That, um, you're going to take a deep, are you going to take a deeper dive into my website and see if we could improve it and maybe I missed something? Okay, so yes, we're going to go through and each of these posts is going to be connected to one of the pages on the site or some type of landing okay. page. I also, okay. um, so we'll, we'll get that all integrated and then when we get like these blog posts, I, don't, I didn't even put the blog posts on here, but there'll be a couple blog posts that will go out and they'll link back and that's some of the backlink stuff. 
okay. so, so that it's actually going to these posts which are related to the topics of uh, the, the social post. Okay. So okay. it kind of builds this what they call like backlink juice. So Google sees that you have these links out there on these big websites like yes. Facebook and Instagram and stuff, and they go back to your website, which Google really likes. Yes, yes, I do know about backlinks. And then, um, so I do. I still have that finance page that I wanted the we finance page that I wanted to add that we spoke about. I just I'm trying to figure out how to do it because it's it's through a sync so um i don't know if you ever worked with synchrony bank i don't know if any of your other customers offers the financing through synchrony i'm not familiar no okay yeah so i have to figure out if i just put a link on that page or how it works so i just haven't figured that out yet so what, what is it video. called just so i can pull it up synchrony synchrony um bank oh okay i see it here um, so I have to figure out what information I have to put there and if, uh, what's allowed and what's not allowed. You know, like I don't want to do what's wrong and then kick out, get kicked out of the program. So. Do you typically do a lot of uh, financing for the customer? Well, I was just approved for okay. it. Okay, cool. That's huge. So it is huge. It, I could even offer 0% for 18 months. Really? And it would still yes. be profitable to you to... to well, yeah, because I I would definitely include that in my cost, like in what it costs, you know. Right, right, okay. Like I get charge, I get charge eight percent. Um, I don't mind using five percent of my profit. I just add like another three percent, you know. So it's not like huge difference, and I'm still competitive. So and then I offer a cash price. Hey, you know, if you're interested in in a cash offer, we you know we could definitely you know provide that for you so you're adding the the, the price basically to the financing exactly okay. yeah that makes sense i just can't let them know that right right so i'm not actually familiar with synchrony but that shouldn't be an yeah. issue it looks like i'm looking at the site and it looks like they have all the tools to just integrate that yeah i think that that's just the way it goes i think we just like i just want to ask first just because I was so happy that I made that happen that right. I just don't want to mess it up. Um, so let me, I'll just ask, I have a representative that will ask me and then if he gives me the goal that it's just a link and we can just go ahead and integrate it. I already have like the writing and all the verbiage for that page. Okay, and then the SEO site map development. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to update this too because I didn't include any of the blog stuff. Okay. So that's a huge. That's a that's a really big piece that's missing out of this. Um, okay. So the blog and then. Um, and then the site map. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that's basically like a SEO tool that will then index all these new blog articles and stuff, and it's submitted to the Google Search Council, and it all kind of okay. does a it full search together. Right? Ex exactly. So that Google knows where everything's at. I mean, because really the, the biggest search engine is Google. Everything else is yeah. is almost nothing. Um, and, and the thing about Google is if you're not on the first page, like 80% of people don't even go to the second page of these yeah, keywords. I don't, go, I don't go to the second page. No, so that's where the Google ads getting started right away is really important because that'll get you up there immediately. But then the long term, when you're looking another three months down the road, is start, start trying to rank for the keywords organically, which again, I don't think with the local area should be difficult. There is competition, yes. but it's not... You know, you have a much better site yeah. and stuff than a lot of them. And I yeah. think that um, we can definitely get the local areas. It's just getting the, um, you know, nationwide. That's a, that's a different ball game. Yeah, that's a different ball game. But you're I, not even I, targeting I, that. No, no. But I, but I am working, I, I am working on opening up a second business, like an online business. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how. What do you mean by an online business? I want to do, like... I want to open up like an Etsy store with digital products. But completely unrelated to creative Yeah, products. unrelated. Oh, okay. Yeah, nothing to do with creative products. Okay. No, no, no. Now, what I was thinking was, I, I was thinking, I do do that, um, 
ivy and like live wall panels and that's something that i could actually sell um but in the future i just want to take this off yeah i just want to make this fly make this work so that i could start focusing on other businesses well like i said the whole goal of this is to get you the return and hopefully sooner than later exactly exactly so I should turn off every single ad that I have going on right now. Well, I mean, if you're going to move forward and then, you know, sooner than later, I would just leave it because then we can just manage it from there. I mean, we'll basically hop in immediately and like at least start checking things, even if they're not all moving. Okay. Uh, but if you don't, you know, if you just don't want to deal with it and want to shut it off, that might just be as easy to whatever whatever you really want to do but if you're going to get moving in the next day or two or today no, or I'm whatever gonna, yeah i'm going to i want to i want to hand this over to you start the week fresh and and i want to start okay then let, i would just say just leave it on for now so that we can even kind of take that little bit of data that you've gathered and okay. try to use it going forward Cause it's everything is based on the data. Like I said, it's all about getting yeah, so these numbers the in, data. getting yeah, all these I, I keywords. To, I mean, I, I didn't do marketing. I I dealt with sales and it, it, it's just it's just a lot of absolutely everything is about the data and that's why i say we yeah. go on conversions and not clicks because conversions are an actual potential sale exactly, exactly. clicks are just i mean they're they're not what they used to they're, be a click can no, they're not. be they're a person not. who comes and doesn't even look at the site just closes it out it can be you know somebody who just got the wrong information The Google local, so you're talking Google My Business? No, so Google has a thing called Google oh, Guarantee. Correct. You told me about this the other week. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm guaranteed already, like I've been verified. Um, I have it on, but it's messing me up because they don't have the, um, what do you call that? Like the keywords that they use are like are like landscaping, and then I'm getting landscaping calls, and I'm not a landscaper. Right. So I'm just thinking of maybe not even going through that. Again, I would just leave it on for now. Um, okay. If you're gonna move forward, and we can just address all that for you. Okay. Okay. Just, just because again that data once it's stopped, then it it's you kind of lose it. Right? Correct. So we would need all logins and passwords for all the current outlets and then anything okay. new we would provide you the the access so that you have it as well. I mean if you're ever at a thing and you know want to post some picture or something, we're not saying okay. you can't do that. We're just saying we'll handle it. Okay. No, no. If I'm paying you, trust me, I'll be sending you, I'll be sending you everything. Right, right. And that's an I but you should have access as well because sometimes people will contact you directly through like an Instagram or directly through like a Facebook and just okay. making sure you're getting all that as well. Okay. Okay. But, so then I'll send you the Facebook that I opened, um, which has pictures in it. It's pretty much set up. Um, like I said, I don't have a, uh, a TikTok. Do you think that TikTok would be better than Twitter? Because I don't, since I don't have neither, well, the thing about TikTok is it's a very young market. You're usually targeting, okay. whereas Twitter is more of like a corporate America market. So okay. it's just, it's different groups of people that you're targeting. And TikTok is good, but it's, it's, it's definitely gets like the most views and stuff, but it's usually to a younger audience. To the younger audience. Yeah. I'm, I, from the ads that I've been posting on 
Instagram. My target in Instagram is like 33 and up. 33, that's a good, that's pretty much a good age. Yeah, I think I have the insights here. Because the thing about your product is no teenager or college kid no. is going to be... No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're almost even probably even higher than the 30s into the 40s, 50s plus. Yeah. Um, how come I can't see them? I think it was an IR card them. But yeah, I've been, I've been targeting. I think, the, I think my peak is 35, though. I think there are a lot... Well, that's because also it's only through Instagram. So that's the only place I've been marketing. Um, so that's probably why. Maybe if I was marketing, I would get more data, like you said. Yeah, it's like 30, 33 to 55. Yeah, I would probably even move that up to like 65, 70. Because, you know, there's a lot of old people in, in Florida. And a lot of them come down here because they have a lot of money. And they, can, they yeah. can afford to leave New York or California, wherever yeah. they're coming from. Yeah, but I think those I will target more like those Facebooks and Google. Um, also, but not through it. Yeah. But yeah, Insta well, I'll leave it. I'll leave it up to you guys. I mean, you guys know more. Right, and we'll 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 get all that data together as well for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, that's basically the process. Uh, again, okay. you know, things do take when it gets into this. The Google Ads, you know, hopefully we'll have running soon. But the other okay. stuff is is a is more of the long term term game. Like it it just. It's got to get started. It looks like you have something started, and hopefully they're working. But um, it's going to take a little while to just get it all organized and, and make sure it's in a converting. No, I understand. I understand that. I do know. I do know that it takes time. The same way that I know that my website's going to take time to get it to where I want to go. So yeah, but I'm realistic. Whole... I know I'm very hard on you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're here for. I mean. They're... <laughs> We want but, um, we want your your success is our success, you know. It doesn't help absolutely. us if if you're not, you know, if this isn't working for you, then it's not, you know. But the thing is, we exactly. do we do the same things that we preach. Like if you look up Hialeah Web Design or Aventura Web Design, we we're in all these places too because we. It's it's the same thing with landing pages and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, and then if I need, if you think that my website needs something, you know, let me know. And then if if if, if I need to invest a little more money to, well, the blog you know. should help with some of that. And once some of these landing pages to start hitting, I think that's going to help a lot. Uh, but again, okay. your your site is just so new in internet terms that yeah. it it just yeah, it's so it hasn't even indexed with Google when I look yet. Okay, but it okay. will be. It will be. Yeah. Two more examples of what you guys done for other people, and then um, don't even send it to me as an estimate. Send it to me as an invoice. Okay, I'll get that all together here this afternoon. I'll have that over your way, and then we'll basically, if you can get all of the accesses that you currently have, any logins, passwords, because okay. a lot of it too, I'm gonna have to work with you, like to double verify. It's gonna send you codes, and it's gonna. Okay, that's fine. It, it that's takes fine. a little while to get it all set up, and then we'll have access to everything. And then once we have access, we'll get all the content and branding guides over to you, and then. Okay. Um, We'll, we'll be ready to roll and just start getting all this material created so that the next okay. couple months we, we have a good solid plan in place to, to drive leads, which should convert to sales. Awesome. I just got two leads, so I'm super excited. <laughs> Excellent. There you go. Yeah. I mean, and again, the nice thing about your product is you're not selling like $10 shoes or something. I mean, no, I if, mean, my, my average 
average sale, my average sale is between ten and fifteen thousand dollars. Right, and I know there's costs behind that for materials and and yes. labor and stuff. I'm, so. I'm profiting about thirty five percent on my jobs. Okay, so that's still several thousand dollars a sale. Yeah, so like I, exactly, like it's just right now. I guess I I, I want to skip the crawling. I want to be running already. Right, but that's so if it was that easy, everyone you know would have already I, hopped in front of you or taken all these spaces. I I'm just being I'm very I'm being very impatient, and I shouldn't be because I luckily ever since I started under my own name, I haven't had one week without work. So well, um, that's that's more than most people can say that start yes. their own business. Yes. So um, I'm just. You know, I want to fly already, but I just have to be patient. So. Well, we'll be here to help with this process. So we'll, get, we'll be here to help get these leads coming. And, um, okay. Okay, so. cool. Send me, send me the invoice and two more examples, and then I'll make the payment for the first two months. And then, yes, now as we're approaching the third month, at the end of the second month, I'll go ahead and send you the third payment. And, or if I see that I feel comfortable... And I can send you that third payment ahead of time. I'll let you know. Okay. I mean, it's well. I'll, I'll highlight it all in the the email just so that we're all on the same page. Okay. Sounds good. All right, Riz. Anything? Uh, let me know. Otherwise, I'll follow up here this afternoon with the email. Okay. And then I'll work on a, a Google Doc sheet with all the username and passwords. That would be great. The, the quicker we can get all that organized, the quicker we can okay. get everything moving. Okay. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Absolutely.